pilot has been half sucked out of a plane at 32,000 feet and oh my goodness I cannot believe that this is happening again. Hello and welcome back to IO, I'm your host Rebecca Felgate and today I'm talking about some horrifying aeroplane news. Now this comes just weeks after a woman died in very similar circumstances. Before we get into this video I just want to shout out a few IO fans that I met at the weekend. We had a meet up for Most Amazing Top 10, the channel that I mainly host for, but some IO fans turned up and it was awesome to meet you guys and I'm thinking that maybe we should do an IO meetup so you guys can meet Charlotte. Let me know if you would like that in the comment section down below. Also if you like our videos please do always leave us a thumbs up because we love it. Okay so back to today's story. A co-pilot was nearly sucked out of a Chinese passenger jet yesterday and the Sichuan Airlines was forced to make an emergency landing at Shanguli International Airport in Chengdu. Now this is a 250 miles away from its takeoff location airport at Chongqing. Captain Louis Tuan Yang spoke to a local news publication about the dramatic turn of events at 32,000 feet. The captain said, there was no warning sign, suddenly the windshield just cracked and made a loud bang. The next thing I know my co-pilot had been sucked halfway out of the window. He also claimed that everything in the cockpit was floating in the air and he suffered from major multiple equipment failure. He said that the plane was shaking so hard he could not read the gauges. Luckily as the co-pilot was wearing a seat belt this meant that he was prevented from being fully sucked out. Now he only sustained minor injuries which is absolutely insane. Just two weeks before a woman on a Southwest Airlines flight from New York to Dallas was partially sucked out of an airplane then dragged back in by passengers when an engine part broke off and shattered a window. Sadly 43 year old Jennifer Riodan died from her injuries. Captain Chungqing reported that the temperature dropped to minus 40 degrees Celsius forcing the aircraft to rapidly descend. The captain managed to grab an oxygen mask and land the plane safely saving all 119 passengers on board from harm. I for one cannot believe that the co-pilot was semi sucked out of a plane and was absolutely okay with just scratches and bruises. Thank goodness though. I don't like flying but I do it a lot because I live in Canada and my family live in the UK and when I hear about things like plane suckings I kind of start to freak out but you know what I thought like it's a fluke, one person got kind of sucked out of a plane it probably wouldn't happen again but two in the short space of time like I'm very freaked out. While passenger window cracks are far less likely apparently cockpit windscreens do shatter quite regularly. Now extreme hail for example has the ability to crack a windscreen. On top of that windscreens usually see around 5,000 flights each before being replaced which means that they can be weakened. Each airline tends to have a protocol in place in response to windshield breakages. One pilot who spoke to the Telegraph newspaper said that he had experienced four windscreen smashes in his career, each needing an emergency landing. I guess the good news here is that planes can still be landed safely in these situations but I'm still pretty freaked out. Okay so that is all I have on this story, I just want to invite you guys to leave a comment but before I go I'm going to read some comments from one of my recent videos about an abandoned spooky military base in the UK. Samira XOX said, when I see Rebecca I say Rebecca rabbit eats carrots, is that weird? Yeah it is a, it's a little bit weird um, but here are some rabbit ears for you, maybe that helps. Hmm, I do like carrots. Afroz Hussain said, I once ate a pigeon which was cooked, it was disgusting. I actually once ate wood pigeon too and it was truly delicious but now I'm a vegetarian so I'm not going to be eating any more animals but yeah, it was tasty. So guys there we go, that was that video for you. What do you think to this news? Are you afraid of air travel now? Let me know in the comments section down below. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate, you can connect with me on social media, my links in the description box down below. For now if you like this video make sure you give it a good thumbs up, share it with friend and stay subscribed for more daily news. Bye!